What was the worst case of rich kid syndrome you've ever seen? When I was at university, I was friendly with a guy who lived on my floor who was from a rich family. Like his family had villas in Spain and Italy, as well as a big house in the countryside in the UK. He was actually quite a nice bloke, but he regularly came out with things that only a rich kid could say. He once tried to be relatable by mentioning how annoying it was when you didn't realize your cleaner or gardener were in the house and how awkward it was. Like brother, most people just clean their own homes. As I said, he was quite a nice bloke. He wasn't being malicious, but he was just so sheltered from what the average person has to go through. I'll never forget a friend commenting that, your Legos are dusty, about my Lego creations I had on display. To which I could only be like, uh, yeah, and, aren't yours? And him being like, no, so-and-so dusts them. And that was the first time I realized that he, they, other people had house cleaners. I think we were like, eight, worked at a mine in Northern Canada. Owners delayed the cargo boat for five days at millions of dollars in penalties so that they and their friends could come and watch it come in. Disrupted everyone's leave because of it. When they finally got there, they decided to get drunk and missed the boat coming in. So millions of dollars down the drain, disrupting everyone's family life, just to act like morons and miss it. Ex-friend of my wife, daughter of fairly wealthy business owner. This girl threw a hissy fit at a friendly gathering, complaining about how her father, CEO, had given her, VP of Operations Honorary Title, a 200K yearly bonus after she had already prepared her taxes. She was now going to have to go back to her accountant. Encountered a bunch over the years directly and secondhand, but the most recent one that sticks out was from a friend who's a drum teacher at a fancy private school. He's not technically employed by the school, so he bills the parents directly. Went to check his account and found a few more zeros than there should be in his teaching account. Turned out he'd accidentally billed one set of parents 4,000 instead of 400 and they just paid it anyway. I worked at an upmarket boarding school for a while, living in the girls' dormitory as a dorm matron. One of the girls was, we suspected, the daughter of a Russian oligarch and was obscenely wealthy and badly behaved. One of the biggest social events of the school year was a winter ball and the girls had their dresses planned months in advance. The oligarch's daughter had a designer gold dress that she told everyone who would listen about how it cost 6K. Bear in mind, she was just barely 14. Anyway, a couple weeks before the ball, she did something truly heinous, and I ended up grounding her from attending the ball. Oh boy, the tantrums and attempted manipulations the next two weeks were absolutely bonkers, but I'm not budging. She ended up cutting the dress into ribbons and throwing it in the dumpster in order to punish me. Unfortunately for her, I'm not her real mum and didn't pay for it, so I didn't care. It happened recently with another adult at the charity organization I work at. It's a charity organization, so the money is shit. That means either you're in poverty or you have a rich partner parents, usually. I was talking to a colleague who is also from another country and told her I wasn't going home for Christmas. A flight to my home country for Christmas would have been like $1,500, just too much for me to spend right now. First Christmas without my family. My colleague was confused and asked why my family didn't all just fly out here then lol. I knew a girl in high school who got a brand new BMW for her 16th. She promptly wrecked it and was rewarded with another brand new BMW. I knew someone in college who was the heir to a company most Americans and Canadians would recognize. He drove a Mercedes as his school car because at home he simply had a driver. Every semester when it came time to return to class, his butler would drive his school car to campus and his driver would drive him to campus. The driver and butler stuck around for a day or two to unpack him and get him settled. Then the driver and butler drove back to his house. I had a roommate in uni who threw her change away. Anything under 5 l one would go straight to the bin. I put a change drawer in the hallway outside her room and we threw an end of year party with the funds. One can hope it taught her that even coins have value too, but I doubt she changed her ways entirely. My old job did this event in Minnesota where all accountants had to attend to learn about the company's culture and stuff. So we were all sitting down into tables, and they decided to do a workshop exercise where they scattered all accountants into random groups and gave us these cards with questions we had to answer as a fun exercise. Everything was fine up until one girl pulled out the question, what was the worst thing you have experienced and how did you handle it? So accountants at the table were going in turns to talk about different things, passings of parents, spouses, addiction, sickness, divorces, etc. And I kid you not, this 21-year-old Kyle said this when it was his turn. 
yeah, my dad is a pilot and my mom is a surgeon and I'm a lonely child. So on my birthday, I usually travel the world. And one time, when I were in Japan, I tried Kobe beef for the first time and it was amazing. When I went back to the US, I had an argument with a restaurant owner because they were also serving Kobe beef, but I knew he was scamming the customers because actual Kobe beef is not legitimate unless they are prepared in Japan. They kicked me out of the restaurant and I was never kicked out from anywhere. Everyone was quiet and speechless, and one lady said she is not in the mood to continue the game after he was done lol. I went high school in a working class neighborhood. Most of the students were middle class and most of my friends were on the lower end of that scale. One girl I hung out with was smoking hot, but dumb as a post. She started dating a guy from a nearby private school. One night, a bunch of us went to Pizza Hut and she brought him along, first time most of us had met him. He had no idea what Pizza Hut was or what they served. We had to explain the place to him and he actually said, I've heard of pizza, never tried it. Dude was in high school and never had pizza. Apparently, the only restaurants he had ever been to were high-end fine dining places. From my personal experience, I went to a HS that had a fairly large amount of rich kids. I remember this one kid, pretty sure his name was Chase, and he was just ranting and raving in class because he could get any car he wanted except a Maybach and some other high-end vehicle. I just remember thinking how fudging stupid he sounded. As someone who was lucky enough to be given a 15-yo car because someone passed away, I didn't know the someone, and the person who inherited the car just wanted to give it away. That school had so many spoiled rich morons who cried about how hard their lives were while being general teenage buttholes. It was kind of startling after coming from a HS in a poorer district where kids were just... normal kids. IDK.